sample 11 for a circular plane surface of diameter D with one face in contact with the liquid and the topmost point flush with the liquid surface, compute the ratio of the force acting on the upper half to that acting on the lower half of the area. Then, second situation for a square plane section of side X and oriented so that the pointed end is flush with the liquid surface and only one face is in contact with the liquid surface, compute the ratio of the force acting on the upper half to that acting on the lower half of area. So, same problem, different figures. So, this is the first. I want to emphasize that the forces are acting at acting through the center of pressure, not the center of gravity. Remember, there is still E between CG and center of pressure. So since the centroid of a semicircle is 4R over 3 pi from the diametric line, so this is also 4R over 3 pi, and the area upper half and lower half are areas are equal. So this is barred H upper, barred H lower. So ratio F upper over F lower equals specific weight, barred H upper area, or specific weight, barred H lower area. Take note that the area of the upper half and lower half equal, so cancel, ca cancel also specific weight. So the ratio reduces to ratio of barred H upper and barred H lower. Bard H upper is R minus 4R over 3 pi, while Bard H lower is R plus 4R over 3 pi. Cancel out R, then use your calculator. The ratio can now be computed. It is equal to 0.4041. Then for the second figure, here it is. So we have a triangle which is equal to this lower triangle here. So don't mind expressing the height of the triangle in terms of x. What is important is the height of this triangle, upper half, is also the height of this lower half. So we will call the height as h. So if that is h, then this, the distance of, of the centroid of the upper area from the base, which is this dividing line, is one third of h, so true with this centroid of this lower half from the dividing line, it's also h over 3. And since the area is the same and the ratio reduces to barred h upper to barred h lower, just like before, because gamma and areas are equal and can be cancelled, barred h upper is two thirds h h minus h over 3, but while barred h lower is h plus h over 3. So 2 thirds h plus divided by 4 thirds h, cancel h, cancel 3. So 2 over 4 or 1 half. So that's it.